Hello everyone, it's Andrew here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a demo and walkthrough of Sendable, which is an all-in-one platform for managing and growing your social media presence. It supports Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Google My Business, and more, allowing you to manage all your platforms in one place. It's used by over 30,000 agencies, marketers, and brand managers, and allows you to customize and preview posts on each platform, edit images with its Canva integration, You can also set up approval workflows if you work in a team and get one-click reports to surface your most engaging content and choose to build and automatically send custom reports. Sendable is perfect for businesses of any size to manage their social media presence. So if at any point you want to check it out, click the link in the description for a free trial. And without further ado, let's go and have a look at the tool itself. So when you sign up to Sendable, you'll be asked to connect your social accounts, which just takes a few seconds. So here we are in the main Sendable calendar view. This is where you'll set up and monitor all of your social media accounts. So let's have a quick tour. This is the calendar where you can click on any date to start composing messages. You can also click compose up here. We'll go through the composing in more detail in a minute. We can click through the months and look in week or day views. Down the side here, we can view schedule posts, any posts that we've queued, everything that's been sent, any posts that have been undelivered for whatever reason, so you can have a look and sort out any issues. We've got drafts of any posts that you've been working on and saved and down at the bottom here we've got tasks which is if your co-workers want to assign tasks to you these can appear here and you can review them and follow them here uh, along the top we've got the activity tab and here we've got the priority inbox which shows any comments or messages that you you've got and if you click on the social feeds drop down here we can see your feeds in full and you can jump down to any of your social media profiles and respond to comments here instead. Under monitor, we can set up keyword alerts which can help you gather information for your posts. So you'd add a description here, what you want the term to be and more options about what exactly you want the term to bring up when a search is made whether you want email notifications, these will appear here, or you can simply search on Twitter for inspiration on post two. Here we go. And these can be exported to CSV. You can like them, repost, view the source. So if I click that, it will jump up and open Twitter. You can retweet or reply, and if the tweet is in a different language, you can translate it. If we come over to content, we've got suggestions for topics that we might want to explore. So if we click on breaking news, we can grab information here to use in our posts. And if we click on influencers, we get a list of some of the most prominent profiles in that section. And we can refresh the feed by tapping up here. So this can be a really great way of easily and quickly gathering content that you can post to your audience. And your favorites can be saved by tapping on the star and they'll appear for you in the right hand column. And if you don't see your topic listed, you can always search for it up here. And as you can see, it'll pre-populate lots of suggestions and influencer profiles for you to explore. I'll come to the reports in a minute, but let's quickly show your profiles where you can easily add any profiles. So let's jump back to the publishing section and the calendar 
and I'll show you how to create a post in Sendable. So let's say we want to create a post for Thursday the 10th. All I do is click there, select a profile. You can either select one or tap again, and you can select several. And then you type your message. And if you want to add an image or video, you just tap down here. And then you can browse files, grab images from a website URL, pull an image from media that you've uploaded, grab content from the cloud if you're able to on your plan, design an image with Sendable's Canva integration, which loads up just here. You can search for images on Google or Flickr, grab a video from your YouTube account, but I'm just going to upload an image. And once your image is uploaded, if you click the pencil icon here, we've got some editing options. We can change the image format dependent on the social profile. We can add a text caption or upload a sticker. If you click the eye icon, you can see a preview of your post on different social networks. And if you toggle the tabs at the top, you can edit the text for different social networks. And in the case of Instagram here, you can add a first comment, which is always really helpful. And one good thing about Sendable is that it publishes direct to Instagram without any push notifications needed on your part. So when you're happy with your posts, you can schedule it down below. Just choose the date and the time. And if you want to repeat the post on any day. And when you're done, you can either send it for approval from a team member or schedule it to your calendar. So if we come back to the calendar, you'll see here are the two posts that I created. And if I decide I don't want to post on this day instead, I can easily drag and drop wherever I want it to go. Now once your calendar is populated and you've published posts, if you come to reports, we can look at how they have performed. So for instance, if I click on Facebook, choose the page and click generate report and you get an instant report that you can save or share to your team which is really nicely done and really handy and that's the facebook report but you can also get one for all of your profiles together or for them all separate oh one thing i forgot is that if you prefer to upload in bulk if you click this icon up here You'll get this window where you can select your profiles, type in your messages, add a send time, a send date, URL and image really quickly, or you can upload them as a CSV. And again, you can import for approval or import them straight into your account. So before we finish, let's look at Sendable's pricing options. Of course, you get the 14 day trial, which you can click the link in the description to start below and they've got four different plans which are either billed monthly or if you choose the yearly option you save 15% so for the yearly option it's £25 a month for the creator $76 a month for traction $170 a month for scale or $340 a month for expansion there's no contract you can cancel at any time so Sendable makes for a really intuitive and powerful management tool, whether you're an individual, a small or growing business. Once again, if you'd like to check Sendable out, click the link in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.